Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. If you use this promo code for a discount between January 16th, 2023 and February 10th, 2023, you will automatically be entered into a sweepstakes where you could win a Brothers War set booster box. There's also another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. A lot to talk about today. It is finally Phyrexia All Will Be One pre-release weekend, and obviously these new cards are having an impact on a number of cards in the secondary market. You're going to see that throughout the video today, and there's a few other things happening too. Per usual, our threshold for today's video is $2. We're not going to discuss a card unless it's moving up at least $2 this week. And quickly, before we get started, a couple things. I do want to say thank you to a couple viewers, both Otaku Meta and YouMadBra99. Thank you for the super thanks tips. They're always appreciated, never expected, but they do really help me push the channel and make things better. If you do want to leave a super thanks tip, you can hit the button below the video, but that's okay if you don't. Just watching the video, telling people about the channel, subscribing, liking us, leaving a comment. That all helps immensely. And one last thing, as you know, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Phyrexia All Will Be One products there. They also do have their sweepstakes going on currently where you could win a Phyrexia All Will Be One set booster box. Check out the link in the description below for those details. And remember, if your order is over $100 or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Also, whenever you use the Heroes promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you, and without any further ado, let's get into it. No standard legal spotlight this week yet again, and not too surprising. People want to see what's going to happen with Phyrexia All Will Be One, but we do have some Pioneer legal cards moving up this week. Let's take a look. Return of the Wild Speaker. Now, this is the one from the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Draconic Rage Commander deck. It goes up 281 this week to 504. So this particular copy is a little dry online this week, which is why it's jumping more than anything. But this is a highly played commander card, and you see this in builds around a new card from Jumpstart 2022 frequently, Kibo Uktabi Prince. Now with Phyrexia All Will Be One coming, there will be opportunities to use this card with toxic creatures as well. In fact, this would be a great upgrade to one of those new commander decks, Corrupting Influence. The Chain Veil. This is the copy from Magic 2015. It goes up 327 this week to 2997. And this is in the sideboard of a very popular Pioneer deck, Nekthos Ramp. But it also gets a lot of commander play. You see this in many of Trexa Praetor's voice builds, for example. And those are going to be seeing even more play, thanks to Phyrexia All Will Be One. Speaking of which, that set also brings us a bunch of new Planeswalkers to use the Chain Vow with. Vorinclex Monstrous Raider from Keltheim goes up 484 this week to 5620. This is one of the borderless concept Praetor cards that can be found in Phyrexia All Will Be One set draft and collector boosters. So just keep that in mind, but it is another highly played commander card, and you do see this at times in Kibo Uktabi Prince builds now too. It is also commonly found in Attracts of Praetor's voice decks. Ultimately though, Phyrexia All Will Be One is really pushing this card. The set contains plenty of cards that give poison counters, there's also the oil counter mechanic, and several new planeswalkers like I mentioned. Proliferate's even back. And yes, this will also be a good upgrade to the Corrupting Influence deck. And the last card in this section today is Darksteel Forge. The Double Masters copy goes up $299 to $44.20. The Magic 2014 copy up $310 to $39.97. The Darksteel copy is up $792 to $57.49. Now the Plane Chase copy is declining a little bit this week. We'll have to see if that's a harbinger of things to come for the other copies. But this card has been hot for a while now. Obviously it took off in Commander with the release of the Brothers War. For example, you see this used as an upgrade to Urza's Iron Alliance. And it's in Fresh Builds around Urza Chief Artificer from there. The reason it remained hot, though, is because of the artifact interactions that we are seeing in Phyrexia All Will Be One. Things like the Phyrexian Might artifact creature tokens, for example. And there's also one card in particular that many Commander players are excited about. Urtat Remnant of Memnarch is an internal legal card that might like to have Darksteel Forge as part of its 99 in Commander. This new Legendary Mirror has been moving a lot of different cards in the secondary market recently. And that takes us to the Modern Legal Spotlight. Let's see what's happening in the world of Modern Legal cards. First, we have Bloodstained Mire, the original Onslaught copy. It's up $230 to $70.65. Now, this copy is rebounding after some recent losses. It is a fetch land, so you know this sees extensive play in many decks in a number of formats like Modern, Legacy, and Commander. 
War Elemental is up 251 this week to 426. This only gets a little commander play now, but this combos with a new card from Phyrexia All Will Be One called All Will Be One. I am seeing many early commander deck lists around the Red Terror containing both All Will Be One and War Elemental in the 99. What do Foothills from Onslaught? This goes up 275 to 7888. This is another original fetch land bumping up after some recent losses. You see this in many decks of Modern Legacy and Commander, but occasionally you even see this one in Vintage. Ragavan Nimble Pilferer. This goes up 281 this week to 7942. Another card that has seen some losses recently, now bouncing back, gets a ton of modern play in Murktide Region and much more there. Vintage, you see this in Jeskai Control, Teamer Tempo. It's also a fairly popular commander, and in the 99 of a number of builds too, including a popular new one, Kibo Uktabi Prince again. It was also mentioned in a Talarian Community College video this week, which might have brought some more attention to it, perhaps. Scytherix the Blight Dragon, the list copy is up 321 this week to 2643. This gets some play as a commander, but it's also in the 99 of many decks, including a Tracks of Praetor's Voice again. This is poised to see more play with the Poison Counter and Proliferate mechanics returning in Phyrexia All Will Be One. It is another good upgrade to Corrupting Influence, and I have seen this in early deck lists around a card from the main set too. Karumonix the Rat King. Plus this was mentioned on the Command Zone podcast this week as a card you might want to play in a build around one of the Phyrexia All Will Be One Jumpstart cards, Kinzu of the Bleak Coven. Elish Norn Grand Cenobite, the Iconic Masters copy of 250 to 3169. The Modern Masters 2015 copy goes up 361 to 3398. So Phyrexia All Will Be One does have a new Elish Norn, Elish Norn Mother of Machines, but a couple copies of the original are moving up this week, as you can see. It is a fairly popular commander, and you see this in the 99 of a number of builds, including a Trax of Praetor's Voice. It's also a good upgrade for both of the new commander decks. It works well with Toxic Creatures for Corrupting Influence, and works well with the token strategy of Rebellion Rising. Also, it was discussed on the Command Zone podcast this week, which again might have brought some attention to it. Doubling Season. Now, that Modern Masters copy is the most turbulent of them all. It goes up 426 this week to 9374, but I wouldn't be surprised if it declines next week. But it is another huge commander card found in many builds like Attracts of Praetor's Voice, and it's also in Kiba Uktabi Prince builds too. We already talked about the counter mechanics in Phyrexia All Be One, but of course tokens play a role in the set too, like the Phyrexia Might tokens. The set has plenty of cards that interact favorably with Doubling Season, and this could be a good upgrade to Corrupting Influence as well. Beyond that, it also did get mentioned on the Command Zone podcast this week as something you might want to play with another card from the main set, is Zuri Stalker of Spheres. Nightbreak Trap is back again up 613 this week to 59.99. Storm strategies remain popular in Legacy and Vintage, and because of that, this card continues to see a lot of play out of sideboards in those formats. This also gets a little commander play, but really the need for this card in Legacy and Vintage right now is what's pushing the price, that along with the fact that it's yet to be reprinted. Gemstone Caverns from Time Spiral Remastered up 771 to 5197. Now the original Time Spiral copy is moving down this week, but as you can see, this one's jumping quite a bit. It continues to see more modern play, it's in Crashing Footfalls and more there. It also gets a little legacy play now in the Orzov Initiative sideboards, for example, and it's in a variety of commander builds too. Last card in this section is Malira Selvak Outcast. It goes up 796 this week to 1495. So this has been seeing a little commander play, both as a commander and in the 99 of builds like Marin of Clan Neltoth. Many now, though, are picking it up due to the poison counter theme in Phyrexia All Will Be One. Aside from the main set, remember the Corrupting Influence Commander deck also plays heavily with poison counters. And it is time for our weekly salute to all Eternal formats, but mostly commander. It is time for the Eternal Spotlight. Obviously, all the cards in this section are not going to be legal in all Eternal formats, but these are your eternal cards that are moving up. The Tempest Copy of Pearl Medallion up to 13 to 3225. This is found in many mono white commander builds, and I am seeing this in early deck lists around Elishnor and Mother of Machines. Sliver Queen is up to 22 this week to 274.95. This is rebounding a little after some pretty big recent losses. It is a good Sliver Commander and in the 99 of Sliver builds too. And there has been some increased interest in slivers recently since many have been reprinted as surprise secret layer cards. Lake of the Dead, this bounces back after a loss last week of 229 to 99.98. It's in a number of commander builds, including Kirk, son of Yogmoth. Gilded Drake, another reserve list card up 229 to 277.99. This might be starting to rebound after some losses it took over the last few months, 
solid commander card it's in a number of different builds but this is also played in some pre-modern decks and that format has had a larger impact on card prices recently replenish of 261 to 8954 this also sees some pre-modern play interestingly enough and it's also a card that lost a lot of value towards the end of last year maybe starting to rebound time will tell it's a solid card for enchantment heavy commander decks like sithis harvest tan for example Demonic Tutor, this is the Dual Decks Anthology copy. It goes up 283 this week to 4825. A little bit harder to find this copy in high grade compared to many others. It is in Vintage Esper Tinker and much more there. It's also another huge commander card found in many different decks in that format. Sylvan Library, the only Dominaria remastered card that's moving up at least $2 this week. The retro version as well as the regular copy are both together moving up $3 to $37.99. This is in Legacy Lands and more, and it is another huge commander card seeing more play now in some Kibo Tabi Prince decks. Intuition from Tempest. This goes up 313 to $170. Sometimes you see this in Legacy Omnitel. It also appears in a variety of commander builds. Dockside Extortionist. The Double Masters 2022 copies of 318 this week to 5997. So this copy finally starting to show some signs of life. You know this is a huge commander card in many different builds, including Kibo Octavi Prince again, which of course is popular. But basically, if you're playing Red in Commander, you probably want this. There's also been speculation that the Commander Rules Committee may ban this card, but we had another announcement this week discussing the future of Commander, and they reaffirmed that they don't have any current plans to ban the card. That could be the main reason you're seeing this jump now. Good old leeches. This is up 319 this week to 1797. This reserve list homelands card has been hot ever since we started learning about Phyrexia All Be One. And of course, this is another card moving in response to the return of poison counters. Currently, this does not see much play to speak of, but it is a card many have been specking on. Razor Claw Bear. This goes up 334 to 5956. This is yet to be reprinted. And you do see this in some Ayula Queen Among Bears commander decks. Earthcraft, this goes up 349 to 139.99. This is another reserve list card that has lost value over the last few months, but now is starting to bump up at least a little bit. It is in some different commander decks like Chatterfang Squirrel General, for example, where it combos with Squirrel Nest. But it was discussed on the Command Zone podcast this week as a card you might want in an Urtet commander build. Artificer Class, this goes up 387 to 1044. This is from the Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate Draconic Descent commander deck. It did get a bump in Commander play with the release of the Brothers War. You see this in Urza Lord Protector builds, among other new decks. Generally, though, this is a solid Commander card that only has this one printing so far. And now it is moving due to the artifact-centric cards in Phyrexia all be one including Urtet Remnant of Memnarch. Mana Crypt, the Eternal Masters copy of 214 to 194.57. The book giveaway, original media promo copies of 391 to 331.23. This is in a lot of vintage decks, including the popular Mono White Initiative deck. It is also found in a wide variety of commander builds, plus it's a good upgrade to the Heads I Win, Tells You Lose Secret Layer commander deck that finally got into people's hands not too long ago. Ancient Tomb, the Ultimate Masters copy goes up 388 to 7764. The one from the list is up 389 this week to 8320, and the Tempest copy goes up 397 to 8899. This is a big mana base card in Legacy and Vintage, and it's found in the Mountain White Initiative builds now in both of those formats. Plus, you see this in a lot of commander decks, including Attracts of Praetor's Voice. Tropical Island from Revised goes up $4 to $524.99. Overall, these Revised Dual Lands have stabilized and in some cases have been moving up since the drop they saw following the Magic 30th Anniversary Edition announcement. They're all highly played in the formats where they're legal. Mox Opal, the original one from Scars of Mirrodin, goes up 503 this week to $80.26. Legacy, it's in Painter and more vintage, it's in Paradoxical Outcome. It's also been getting more commander play since the Brothers War came out. It's an expensive but good upgrade to Urza's Iron Alliance, and it's in fresh builds around Urza Chief Artificer. Virtue's Ruin from Portal, this goes up 575 this week to $7.77. Now, there is a From the Vault Annihilation copy of this card that hasn't moved yet. But many players don't like that from the vault foiling. In general, though, the reason the card is getting hot is because it is starting to show up in legacy and vintage sideboards that deal with the initiative builds that are performing well in both of those formats. Phyrexian Dreadnought from Mirage is up 653 this week to $99 in a cent. This is in Legacy Stifle Knot. 
But there is a new anti-initiative deck that's running this and four copies of Torpor Orb right now that some people are playing. We'll have to see if that catches on. When it comes to Commander, this gets a little Commander play too. Sometimes you see this in Savala Heart of the Wilds builds, for example. Plus, this is another card that shows up in some pre-modern decks. Next, we have Oran Frostfang. This goes up 725 to 2648. This is the copy from the list, and that copy is dry online this week, which is why it's jumping the way it is. Wouldn't be surprised if this is just temporary and we see a drop next week, but it does get a lot of commander play in a variety of builds, and it could be a good upgrade to the Corrupting Influence commander deck, too. Here's another revised dual land with Tundra. This goes up 1188 this week to 50128. Yeah, Badlands from Revised is up 1276 to 41999. And one more, Volcanic Island from Revised, up 1370 to 798.49. Your last card today, and yeah, I know you heard the foreshadowing throughout the video, attracts a Praetor's voice. The Double Masters copy is up 1719 to 6969. The Commander 2016 copy, that's up 2854 to 8499. Now that one only comes in foil. Same with this one. The Commander Anthology Volume 2 copies of 3510 to 9499. Okay, so this is already an extremely popular Commander and in the 99 of some builds. But now, even more players are interested because this will play well with Poison and Oil Counters from Phyrexia all we want. Like we discussed earlier, the set is also bringing us a bunch of new Planeswalkers and Proliferate is back too. There's even a new Atraxa in the set, Atraxa Grand Unifier. So yeah, you probably already see a lot of Atraxa Praetor's voice at the Commander table, but you're probably going to see more. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. Now, over the course of the weekend, I did drop three shorts to show you which cards are moving down in value if you're interested in that. All of the cards in those videos are moving down at least $2. Until next time, though, hey, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.